Okay, here's our 3636 N200 shot peener. It's 36 inches deep, 31 inches tall, and 10 inch arm holes. We got a 200 square foot dust, cartridge dust collector. We got up here a button with his reverse pulse air, which cleans the filter. Then over here we got a vibrator. That vibrates a 225 square foot cartridge filter. And we've done about 30 waffle irons, and that's what come off of the 30 waffle irons. But that's 225 square foot filter. Got a silencer to keep it quiet when you're running. One cubic foot pot down underneath that's under pressure. And there's the valve for media. We're running the media. It's got blow down controls. Every time you let off, it depressurizes the pot. Takes up very little space. The dust collector, the dust collector's mounted on the sides and fit all the way up to the, the back. And we got a separator reclaimer up there. Four 190 watt light bulbs. And on waffles, we use a turntable which is mounted mounted up at the right height and we've got stops you see that in a few minutes but it all they all have safety door interlocks double line door rubber line back so that the shot does not hit the back and bounce back do the window use a refrigeration type lock and we use the heavy duty hose coming up and then we use a soft whip hose It's real flexible, and it's a quarter inch nozzle. And then we got a flow meter up here that tells you when the, when the filter's clogged and needs to be pulsed. Now you notice here we got the, plenty of good light, moves a lot of air. And now I'll show you a blast and a waffle iron. Let me show you the waffle iron first. <laughs> Here's what they look like when you're thinking out of the box. Well, cleaning that Teflon to recoat them. Well, this here we can clean them without changing the shape. And I can clean one of these in about five minutes. And I'll show you here. Now the trick on blasting anything, you gotta know, you gotta know where you've been and you gotta go in a given direction. And so doing a waffle iron, I like going 90 degrees straight across, and then we'll turn it 90. You can see how fast it comes off. Turn it 90 degrees, we're only going to do half to show you. I'm going to turn it 90 degrees again. The main thing is that you do a nice pattern like using an airbrush. Now I'll turn it 90 degrees again.
see I just did half of it and these are one of the worst things you could ever clean most guys will try to put them in their glass beater and clean them and they'll spend hours but we can do them in five minutes anyway give us a call if you're interested or any questions just call ABS and we've got the answer for you